The Qs are now the second run of the two-minute EWO, and it's been pretty fast. Is that bullish or bearish? Kind of bearish. Bearish. Yes. Bearish. That's right. Very bearish. So what could you possibly do here? My puts. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Look at what I drew out. Now listen, this one's easy because if that breaks above VWAP and holds and you're in puts, you don't need to wait 25 to 40%. It could be 6%. Bye-bye, right? It's a great spot to be because you already know if it reverses exactly where to go with the reversal and you know if it goes to the good side, you know your, your downside is coming back down to 35485s. Make sense, everybody? Coach, what about it sitting at the 200 moving average? Uh, let me look. Yeah, that's going to be your next level of support, right? But you're okay because your break, uh, your stops above VWAP, right? Because it can bounce both between the 200 and VWAP, and you're still okay as long as it doesn't go above VWAP or change color on your two minute, right? And here's the thing. If it does, it's going to flip colors down here and then start watching the two minute to the upside. It's going to break above VWAP. And then where are you going? Okay. Get it? Go along. There it goes. You're printing now. Who got in that right there? I did, Coach. Yeah. I did. There you go. Look at that payday. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. My gosh, that's one of the biggest cues drops I've ever seen. We did it live right here. Called out to the penny. Let's go. Beautiful entry. Wrap. You guys, that's one of literally the best ever pulls I've ever seen on the cues. We did it live right when we were discussing it. Did you catch the oh you're on a you're on a bottom? Look, look, look where it bounced. What did I say? What did I say? I said 354.85. Did I not? Yep. Yeah. It bounced <laughs> from the bottom. Yes, it did. That's where we shed, right? This is why we shed and not dump them all. If you got rid of five, you still have five. Do you see why I do that? See how it pulled back? Get rid of two, uh, one or two more. Now you've only got 10 to 20% left. Uh, critical level on the cues. 353.95. I've already got it marked from before. Let me look. Yeah, right here. You're on and now you're on the next level of support from three trading days ago. And look at the bounce. Do you see it? So now you're on another level of support. Shed. You see how this works? So you go to the put side, which is over here. You can go one in, one out of the money. I don't care. Select one, click buy, limit, click the little check here, choose mid, put in a stop loss. I typically will use 10% just to have something in place, then I can move it. Click place order. You're all set. Have a good day. Let's use this as an example. Now, what do you think? The reason is, you guys, because everybody else is chasing it and they're getting FOMO. What do I say? Never buy calls on resistance, right? Don't I say that every day? Yes, sir. And don't I also say never buy puts on support? And now look, touch, fly, touch, fly. And later, if this would have been the same market, touch up. You see the scalp? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs>